Hi, this is Joachim for statisticsglobe.com and in this video I'll explain how to select data frame rows based on the values of a vector in the R programming language. So in the video I'm going to show you several examples and all of these examples are based on the data frame and vector that we can create with lines 1 to 6 of the code. So if you run lines 1 and 2 of the code, you will see that at the top right of RStudio a new data frame object appears and we can also have a look at this data frame by running line 3 of the code. And then you can see at the bottom of the RStudio console that our data frame is consisting of 10 rows and two columns x1 and x2, whereby the column x1 is consisting of a range from 1 to 10 and the column x2 is consisting of an alphabetical range from a to j. If you run line 5 of the code, you will see that a new vector object is created at the top right of RStudio, and we can also print this vector to the RStudio console by running line 6 of the code, and then you can see that our vector consists of the three vector elements 1, 7, and 10. So now let's assume that we want to extract certain rows of our data frame based on this vector. Then we have many different alternatives and the first alternative I want to show you is based on the in operator as you can see in line 8 of the code. And in this line of code I'm specifying the name of our data frame. Then I'm specifying the data frame variable in which I want to search for the values of our vector. And then I'm specifying the in operator and the name of our vector. So if you run line 8 of the code, you will see that a subset of our data frame is returned at the bottom in the RStudio console. And as you can see, this subset of our data frame is consisting only of those rows where the column x1 has the same values that are also stored in our vector. So this is, in my opinion, the easiest way on how to select data frame rows based on the values of a vector in the R programming language. However, depending on your specific situation, you might prefer one of the other alternatives. And for that reason, I want to show you several other ways on how to select data frame rows based on the values of a vector. And in the next example, I want to show you how to use the isElement function to subset your data frame. So if we want to use the isElement function to select certain rows of our data frame, we can use the code that you can see in line 10. So in this line of code, I'm again specifying the name of our data frame and then I'm subsetting this data frame by applying the isElement function to the column in which we want to search and to our vector. So if you run line 10 of the code, you will see at the bottom in the RStudio console that exactly the same subset of our data frame is returned, but this time we have selected the rows based on the isElement function. Now a very popular package for the manipulation of data frames is the dplyr package. And if we want to use the functions of the dplyr package, we have to install and load the dplyr package, as you can see in lines 12 and 13 of the code. I have installed the package already, so I'm just going to load it with line 13 of the code. And after running this line of code, we can use the functions of the dplyr package, such as the filter function. So if we want to use the filter function to subset our data frame, then we have to specify within the filter function the name of our data frame. And then we are also using the in operator, as you can see at the end of line 15. So if you run the whole line 15, then you will see that our data frame is subsetted again. And again, the output is exactly the same as in the previous examples, but this time based on the filter function of the dplyr package. So another example that I want to show you is based on the data table package. The data table package is also a popular package for the manipulation of data frames. And if we want to use the functions of the data table package, we need to install and load the data table package as well. I have installed this package already, so I'm just going to load it with line 18 of the code. And after running this line of code, we can use the setDT function and the J function, as you can see in line 20 of the code. So if you run line 20 of the code, you will see that the same rows are returned as in the previous examples. But this time, the difference is that this output is a data table. And before we have always returned a data frame. 
So depending on your specific situation, you might prefer to work with data tables instead of data frames. So in summary, in this video, I have shown you how to select data frame rows based on the values stored in a vector in the R programming language. However, in case you want to learn more on this topic, you could check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on the homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can check it out there. And in the description of the video, you will also find all the R programming code that I have used in this video. So you could copy paste it from there and use it for your own application. If you have liked the video, I would be very happy if you leave me some positive feedback in the comments and make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notifications in future when I'm releasing new videos to the channel. That's it for this video. Thanks a lot. See you next time.